ora everybody, welcome to Monday in New Zealand. <laughs> Let me just quickly say hello wow, before we start this walk. Oh, where am I? <laughs> Kia ora, thanks for joining. We are in the Karangahaki Gorge. I'm taking you for a walk in this direction. We're going to walk across a couple of swing bridges. I'm just going to get in the shade a little bit. I'm going to walk across a couple of swing bridges and check out the local area, some of the history and some of the um, fabulous nature around here. Let's go, let's go. There we go. There's a big car park here. I'm on, just pulled off the road here. It's busy. Lots of people come here for picnics and cycling and walking. Some beautiful walks that you can do. And they've got lots of information here about the Fire Rock Water, a recipe for gold. So this is an old gold mining area, quartz mine here. Gold was moved nearer to the surface by superheated water from deep below the earth. Of course, five to ten million years ago, this is what happened. Anyway, let's get on for a little bit of a walk here. We've got beautiful walks um, and cycleways to, um, to explore. My favourite actually is the Windows Walk, which is an hour loop walk. And as you can see on here, it is the purple line. So what I usually do is, if I'm doing the walk, I go over this bridge, we're about here. I go over this bridge, and then I go over here, over this bridge, and then start the walk up here. I'm going to take you on a little bit of this walk. So let us head off. Um, there's also the tunnel loop, which is great. You can see here the cycle, bicycle, so there's all sorts of trails that you can do. This is a great one here, this is going through the tunnel. This is really, really awesome and then it comes out the other side. So if you're driving, you can see you've got to drive all the way around here. <laughs> but they all link up, so it's quite a drive. Uh, but it's great when you um, just cycle or walk through that way. So, let's get on with this walk. It's beautiful, it's Monday, transmission's unstable, okay, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Might need to save the broadcast afterwards. We, we seem to be getting a lot of um, instability lately on these broadcasts. So I won't, won't make this too long, we'll just keep walking. I'm going to walk across the swing bridge. Now this is a new swing bridge. It's just been completed a couple of years ago. Before this, there was one here. And it was pretty, it was pretty fabulous going across it because you rock and rolled all the way across. <laughs> you rock and rolled all the way across the Karangahaki Gorge. It is beautiful. Really beautiful. And great place for, as I said, picnics and cycling and walking. Ah, how many people are allowed on the bridge at a time? <laughs> and it's also a great place to go for a swim in the river. So as you can see we're under we're above the river. All the river stones are just underneath us. <sighs> oh the window tunnels are closed until further notice. Okay, so don't come expecting to do the windows walk at the moment. Um, do one of the other walks. Okay, let us go. How many people allowed on the bridge? Oh it doesn't say used to be 10 but yeah so let's go we're just crossing this swing bridge across here Whee! and looking down into the river on this side it is gorgeous look it's beautiful oh I can even feel it moving a bit <laughs> and looking down here oh yep <laughs> Trust them, they've been rocking it. <laughs> and looking down into the river. Sort of a little beach there at the side, which is really, really great. And looking up the gorge a little bit. It's a nice drive through here. I think they class this as being one of New Zealand's top 10 drives coming through the Karangahaki Gorge. You start at Paira at the northern end and you end at Waihi on the southern end. I mean, it's not too far out to the beach from there. It's gorgeous though, it's really lovely. Looking up the river, you can see this part of the part of an old bridge there. It looks like it might have been a railway bridge at one stage. Hello! <laughs> it 
there's a little puppy at my feet. <laughs> Gorgeous, really beautiful. But thanks for joining you guys. I'm going to save this and upload it again later. Oh, all this instability here, you know, it's not, not too good. And we like to have a nice smooth walk, don't we? Getting into all the native ferns here. So that bridge wasn't too rocky. That was good. Lovely walk. You can follow this track along here. That'll take you all along the, um, the river edge as well, the riverside, which is great. It's pretty strong, this bridge now. Look at all these wire. Big wires, big strong wires holding it. <laughs> used to be, used to be pretty rickety. I'm just looking down into the Kangahaki River. You can see some of the old gold mining, um, the remains of the old gold mines. Of course, this was a busy area. There was actually like a small city here. Now there's a very, not even a village. There's a cafe and a winery. Uh, a couple of eating places. There's some of the old gold miners. <laughs> There's the walk. It's all signposted. You can't get lost. It's really good. Oh, but that's a shame that it's closed. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, look. Wee. Yes, definitely. Definitely there was a gold mine here. A lot, of, a lot of this gold, it was all shipped through to Australia. They used to ship it through to Melbourne. Tons and tons of gold from this area back in the, I suppose it was around the 1860s, 70s, 80s. 150 years ago, just imagine, people came here especially to um, mine, mine for the gold. Looks like they've got an information board here, so we'll take a look at this one and see what it says. And interestingly enough, the battery on the other side is called the Woodstock Battery. See all the, all the remains of it? It's pretty, pretty fabulous. There we go, the Karangahaki Gold Mining. The powerhouse, oh, so this was the powerhouse here in the early 1900s. Okay, a maze of bridges, trams, water races and pipelines crisscrossed above you. Nice. Oh, so it was the 1900s. Uh, this, this is from 1897, showing the Woodstock battery. And here we go, Karangahaki gold mining. 1883 to 1933. We weren't too far out with the dates. Look how, look then, it was amazing. Look at that. All the old wooden buildings and the compressor and the mill. Wow, that's around 1914. Fast facts, local Maori were pressured to allow mining here to repay debts. After the initial rush in 1875, early prospectors drifted away, having found little alluvial gold. And it was the third largest gold mine in New Zealand. OK, we're going to walk across this bridge because this is a fabulous bridge. This is an original swing bridge here. And this will take us across to the Woodstock Battery. It's a beautiful day here in New Zealand. Look, really, really beautiful. And I'm just back to Auckland. So this one says maximum load 10 people. <laughs> oh, there's nobody else on it, so we won't get a rock and roll. I'll do my best for you. We get nice views. We'll get nice views. Actually, oh, here's somebody. Actually, because the transmission is unstable, I might stop a little bit further along and do another broadcast because along at the tunnel, um, there is a Wi-Fi um, tower. So much better there. Oh, we're rocking, look. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Hi there. That's a neat little country. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? This is, keeps it nice and steady, <laughs> not like the bridge. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's good, yeah. <laughs> so when you've got other people walking across the bridge, it does start rocking a bit, uh, which is good. We all just keep our balance, looking up the river. Fantastic, look, beautiful. 
beautiful nature all the way up here as well. Really, really gorgeous. But thanks for you joining you guys. Look at the water rushing down. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Let me look at that. Actually, the water, the level's low because we haven't had a lot of rain. And so it's pretty low. Looking up there to the top of the hills. All nice white clouds today with that blue sky. A little bit of fine, hazy cloud going across there, which looks quite good. I'm just going to slowly bring you down to earth and we'll go back to normal right now. <laughs> People swimming just down there in the river. It's nice. Oh yes, splash, splash. Let's go. We'll have a look, little look over here at the um, Woodstock Battery. But I love the sound of the rushing water, and when you're driving, it's so peaceful just to stop and have a walk in here. I suggest bringing your bikes or bringing a picnic, doing something. <laughs> All these ladies are waiting for me. <laughs> Better get a move on. <laughs> Thank you. Prangahake Gorge Historic Walkway. There are lots of areas to explore. I came past the old, uh, where the old cyanide pits are down at Victoria Battery. That's quite interesting as well. Again, look at the countries that we're in though. This is why we've got an unstable connection. We're in the middle of nature. Woodstock Battery. These structural remains are part of Woodstock Gold Mining Company. Maria's, Maria Reef in the White Taffeta, 1885. The fortunes waxed and waned and the ownership changed several times. So let's have a look around here. Beautiful. Look at the nature. It is gorgeous. All the ferns. All the lovely trees, beautiful, beautiful. Danger, danger. This section of the Windows Warp Tunnel is closed. Oh, you need to go in from the other side. I'll just we'll take you up here a little bit uh, because you get lovely views and it's nice to walk under the um, some of these native trees. You can hear all the cicadas. Get a little idea. We've gone from the river to a typical New Zealand bushwalk. Look at this. Gorgeous. This path just follows the... Oh, it's gorgeous, look. And this path just follows the, the river until you get to the Windows Walkway. The river's just down here below us. A little bit unstable again. Let's just have a look up above us. Let's just look up. Look at the ferns. Aren't they beautiful? Windows walk. <laughs> a few little birds having a dust bath down. Oh, they've just flown away having a dust bath. Get you a little view of the water here. And down into the river. Look how gorgeous, fabulous. Okay, you guys, because the, um, the signal is unstable, I think it might be a good idea to head back and head back and just see what we can we can find um i'll head down to the tunnel and we should have a much better much much better signal down there well thanks for joining we will finish with the beautiful new zealand silver fern which just happens to be here beside me so when you're looking for a silver fern as i've told you before you always look for the stalk what color is the stalk it is silver and then you've got this beautiful frond and when you turn it over it's silver on the other side how's that 
Symbol of New Zealand, the silver fern. Green on one side, green on one side, and silver on the other. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? So it was pointing our way, the direction that we need to walk in. You'll find them all around the New Zealand bush, so you're never going to get lost as long as you can see a silver fern. There's another one just down there. So, oh, look, it's turning over in the breeze for us. How beautiful. Look at the silver. It is turning over. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so I'll finish looking at it because it's just lovely. Oh, then it goes back to green, and then it'll blow again, and it'll go to silver. Hey, so thanks for joining everybody. I'll head on down to the, um, the tunnel and see if we can get a better reception. Okay, thanks for joining. Kia ora, ka kite.